Hi, thanks for watching my video. So, today, I thought I'd make a video on uh, running a vet, because that's another thing that I haven't done yet in The Sims 4, so I figured, you know, new year. Been playing this game for a while, and in the year, well, over a year now, but in the time that I've had this game, all I've really done with it is dick about. So, I thought... Why not actually start playing with some of the features that come with some of these uh, these packs that I have? Even if just for a minute, you know? Even just to be able to appreciate the features that come with it. Because there is so much in this game that I haven't even explored yet. So that's what we're going to do. So this is Eve. She's already got the gear on. She's, she's ready. She's got no skills. But you know what? We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out once we're there. If we have to cheat, we will. I'm going to put that out there now. So first things first, we're going to buy a vet clinic. See how this shit works. So we're just going to buy the Brindleton Porspital. I'm not even going to pretend I've done any more with this than I have. Oh shit, she needs some more money. Okay, okay, don't worry. We'll do a quick little cheat. <laughs> and then we'll buy it. Yeah, I'm using the vet that was already made um, in Brindleton Bay. I have given it a little bit of a facelift just to make it look a little bit more my sort of style. But I haven't built a vet from the ground up, mainly because I just can't really be asked, you know? So we're just going to, you know, use the pre-made one and put some stickers on it, make it look our own. Well, it's nine o'clock at night, perfect time to open a vet clinic. But this is what it looks like. Um, it does look pretty much the same. I literally just made it pink <laughs> and just added like a few stickers and stuff just to make it look a little bit, a little bit more girly, you know? So, but most of it is pretty much the same. All right, all right. So we start off with one star. Let's see what we need to do. I guess m manage employees, first of all. So we need a vet. So these are people with vet skills. None of them have got particularly good ones. <laughs> oh, Sapria's got quite a lot. Okay, Sapria, you're hired. Yes. So we have one vet. Great success. Are you just playing games on there? Yeah, play Sims forever. I'm glad you've got your priorities straightened. Should we open? Let's open. Vet clinic settings, okay, so I've got... don't really know what I'm supposed to do with with this. I mean, I know that we're open, so, you know, there's that. But how do I even get her, like, a... I didn't even realise there was a vet skill, you know? How do you even start to develop that skill? I don't remember there being a book. Oh, look at this little guy. Go and give them the friendliest introduction. Okay, I'm going to promote her to vet level 2 already, because she already has quite good skills. So, do that. But what do we need to do? Greet greet the patient. Oh, I've never seen Clara acting like this before. I hoped it would go away, but it's only gotten worse. Oh, bless. Okay. Oh, so are you going to go and work on the dog? I mean, I didn't really have that planned, because you don't have any skills in <laughs> being a vet. So I feel like this is a really bad idea, you know? Well, I guess you got to learn the, learn the craft somehow, don't you? This dog obviously has fleas. Calm the pet. Um, okay, so let's just... Let's just examine everything, I, I guess. So I guess we'll just examine everything. Three ring flea circus. Okay. Well, so do I not need to do the other stuff then? I'm guessing not. Treatment. Parasite killer spray. Oh, it even tells me which, which ones are yes and which ones are no. <laughs> okay, this is quite easy then. Is he cured? Oh, and just like that, we reached level two. Aww. Well, I mean, this is very easy, she says. So we can dismiss that patient now? Oh no, that was quite rude. Okay, well, d yeah, dag dag, dag dag. Oh, we've got another little pet here. Give him the friendliest introduction. 
greet the patient. Oh, we're going to be level 10 in no time. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. I'm a bit annoyed that I dismissed that patient before billing them. All that hard work. God damn it. Okay, so. Call a good pet. Ah. Okay, so let's examine a little bit. There you go, just check everything out. Maybe if there's an opportunity to throw in a little bit of customer service, you know, like banter about the pet or something. I don't know. Oh, he was not happy about that. Okay, I think we should try calming it now. Calm the pet. Calm the pet. That's it. Calm it down. All right, just chill the fuck out. See, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Take the temperature. Check its fur. Okay, it's got Winterfest fever. Okay. So we'll do the Fix-It-All treat. I'm enjoying this way more than I thought I would. Oh, he's cured. Okay, build the owner. And just like that, we're level three now. Okay, I'm going to pay for her to get some training as well uh, when she's done with her shift. Okay, well, you guys can go now. See you later. Bye. Should we greet this patient? Yeah, may as well. Oh, this dog looks like it's got the same thing that that other pet I just treated has. This is um, this is actually quite fun. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh, you little thing! It's okay. It's okay. I think it's because I think the um, the pets in The Sims 4 are just so cute. You know, they're cuter than the children or the babies. So I really don't know why it's taken me this long to play with something that involves them because they're just so goddamn cute. What's the other vet doing? She better be treating someone. You're just standing there pissing about on Instagram and there's a dog there that needs to be treated. Okay, this one also has Winterfest fever. There we go. We'll get you all fixed up. Ah, oh, there we go. All done. Bill the owner. That's my favourite part. Billing the owner. It's not like retail or restaurants where you just have to wait around for people to eventually pay their bills. At least this time, you can literally just say, OK, time to pay your bill, and then off you go. I feel like I've got so much more control running this business than I do running a restaurant or running a retail store. Although for some reason it does say that I've only had one customer and that is bullshit and they know it. Oh dear. Seems to be going on here then. Oh wait, that's not me. I'm playing video games. Okay, let's check this big boy out. Does he need calming down first? Nah, he's pretty chill. He's pretty chill. Okay. He's got derpy doggy syndrome. Oh, and he's a little bit stressed now. Okay, we'll calm him down. We'll calm him down. And then we'll give him an antifungal spray. Aww. A while back I said I didn't really like the cats and dogs pack. But I take it back. I take it back. It was worth every penny. What level vet are we at now? Oh, almost level four. Okay, that's good. That's good. And now it seems to be registering that we've had five customers... Okay, well, let's greet this patient, seen as fucking Sapria seems to be too concerned on Tinder. I think that cat's a bit scared, because he's running away. <laughs> he's hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, He's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Come on, Bartholomew. Let's get a look at you. Okay, he's quite tense, so we'll calm him down. We'll calm him down. Oh, and we're level four. Of the veterinarian skill. Amazing. So this, I'm enjoying this. This is, this is fun. One thing I will say if I did have to criticise, and don't get me wrong, I do like it when things are easy, but I do seem to be um, increasing in skill pretty easily. I mean, I've been playing for about, I mean, I've been working in this vet for about 15 minutes in real time <laughs> and um, already she's level 4 veterinarian I mean 
It's just not really realistic, is it? It's our first day as well. We've only been open for, oh, 11 hours. Bill the owner. I'm going to send um, Sapria on a break because she's been working a long old shift. Can I not just send her on a break? Do I have to close the whole place just to... Oh, that's, that's kind of annoying. Okay, well then in that case I'm just going to have to close up, aren't I? One and a half stars. That's pretty good. And we've actually served eight customers rather than just like one customer from uh, like it is in Dine Out. Made a profit. It's actually worked out pretty well. Pretty well. Kind of did the timing wrong though because we ended up working throughout the night. And uh, maybe that's one of the, the things about us, you know. We're, we're a nighttime vet because most vets are open throughout the day. Whereas we are a nighttime vet, you know? I couldn't imagine anything more convenient. So on that note, I'm gonna call it a day, go home, have a little nap nap, get ready for tomorrow. Or tonight, I guess. Okay, well it's half three, not quite night time, but I don't care. I'm getting bored of just watching her do nothing, so we're gonna open the vet again. <laughs> Maybe we'll earn enough points to be able to uh, recruit two vets. That'd be good, wouldn't it? And also, Sapria supposedly has had training now, so... Can I use some of my perk points? So I can get myself an additional vet. Well, I can afford to get one more vet, so I'm going to do that. And I do still have some points left over, so... What else could I get? Quite like this one, inspirational speech. I can inspire my employees. I'm going to do that. Okay. And now we can hire someone new. So I want someone who's got fairly good skills, Ugh, but none of them do. Perhaps I'll get Olivia on board. And then we'll open up shop and I'll give both of them inspiring speeches. Give inspirational speech, there we go. And then I'm also gonna pay for her to go on training too. Okay, so our vets should be pretty inspired, ready to do a good day's work, you know. So let's get going, shall we? Greet some patients. Where's the other vet gone? She's still just standing outside with her finger in her ass. Olivia, come on. Got a job to do. I'm not paying you to stare at fucking the trees. Okay, let's take a look at this boy. He kind of needs calming, so we'll do that first. Oh, she's crying because her dog is sad. Get a grip. It'll be fine. Okay, we know what it is. It's derpy doggy syndrome. There we go. We cured his sickness. So we're going to give her a bill and then send her on her way. Is she just dancing? You're fucking useless, Olivia. Why did I, why did I hire you? Well, at least our rating has increased to two stars. So that's something. Two days in, and we've gained a whole star, so... That is nothing to be scoffed at, if you ask me. The frustrating thing is, this business has actually been done quite well. Like, this way of running a business. It's not slow, it's not laggy, it doesn't take ages to do everything. I feel like if Dine Out was like that, it would just be so much better you know be so much better okay we know what he's got he's got blazing tootsies let's calm him down just calm the fuck down you're gonna be fine parasite killer spray there we go <laughs> that cat has got such an angry meow <laughs> okay let's build the owner how has my sim managed to get to level five from starting at zero and my employees where are they because she Sapria started at level four she's only just turned level five although Olivia's gained one extra point so well done Olivia you're not a complete waste of space what else can she do I wonder whether she needs to like do anything specific you know I don't know I don't really know what that means if she has to actually do anything Christ knows. Maybe it will become more apparent, like as her skill increases. Who knows? Who knows? 
Can I still give them like an inspirational talk? Yeah, I can. Give some more inspirational speeches. We've got to keep morale up, okay? Halfway point in the day. We've been open for six hours. Let's give them a boost, shall we? Why are you just singing there? She's just cleaning when there's like... I'm a bit confused. Where's, where's that guy's pet? Oh, his pet's already being treated. He was just sitting in there to flirt with us. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, I see you're on your phone there. Perhaps we should check up on her. You're right there. Just see you're uh, scrolling through, through uh, Facebook, just making sure you've got enough to do. I can't say this is my dream career, though. Oh, you piece of shit. You know what? I'm not hearing. Grateful. Okay, let's treat this boy. This doggo. He's very stressed. Let's calm him down. Oh, we have the option to soothe Pet now. Let's soothe him. Oh, he's got quite a few issues. Okay, fine, fine. We will examine you. I quite like this now. It's getting a little bit more complex. Oh, check his mouth. He's got green slime coming from his mouth. Wow. Ain't that something. We need to check his fur as well. He's looking a little bit purple. Oh no, I'm getting the impression that this could potentially... Uh, might need a surgery. We've never done a surgery before. Oh, he's getting more stressed by that. He's gonna be... You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Every time we try and de-stress this dog, it just gets more stressed. Okay, it's not stressed anymore. Okay, good, good, good. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, okay? Okay, we know what it is. Super duper swamp mouth. Okay, let's soothe him. Oh dear, he's just been sick again. Oh man. You're complaining about filthy surroundings. Are you having a laugh, mate? Your dog just threw up on our floor. Okay, what does he need? Oh no. So, none of the medicine is gonna work. Does that mean I have to move him to the surgery station? Oh shit, man. Shit is getting real now. Alright, come on then, buddy. You're not gonna like this. And I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, there we go. I do know what I'm doing because the game is telling me a thumbs up, so I do know <laughs> what he needs. Thank God. Oh, wow. We're just not qualified to be doing this surgery. I, I don't think this was a good idea. You are so out of your depth. Wait, is he cured? Is he cured? I didn't get any, like, happy music to say he's all cured, though. <laughs> uh, sorry, pal. Okay, we'll do one more patient and then we're going to close up because we've been open for 11 hours now. And it's 3 a.m. <laughs> Don't ask me what our business hours are. Uh, we just decide on the day. Just a standard checkup. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can handle that. We can handle that. Nothing we can't handle. Standard checkup it is. Oh, in her pretty little dress. Does she need calming? Yeah, she's pretty stressed. I'd be happy to end this video on at least 2.5 stars. Oh shit, staff are getting starting to get tired. Okay, I'm going to close up after this after this patient. Okay, don't worry, guys. But I have a feeling this is going to be another surgery. Oh, wait, no. Clean nose, healthy skin, normal temperature, standard breath. Oh, okay, maybe this is not going to be a surgery then. Healthy. Great job. Preventative shot? Yeah, okay. We'll give her a preventative shot. There we go. Bill the owner. See you later, mate. We're closing up shop. Yep, yeah, thanks very much. And we're closed. Hey, we got 2.5 stars. Good going. So stress level is an issue. We need more ambience. Wait time is good. Okay, great, great. Well, on that note, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Maybe I'll do a part two where we get to five stars. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.